You are the weakest link. Goodbye. Wow, wasn't that a slap on the face for majority of the YouTube community? Hey guys, what it's up? It's Abby again. Um, yeah, I mean, yesterday was a complicated day because something happened and all of you or the majority of us is pissed off about this and honestly it seems a little bit unfair but I kind of understand in a way but at the same time I don't understand anything because it doesn't make sense that YouTube is taking away like at least the one dollar people get I mean just one dollar I mean if all of us got together it would make the same money as PewDiePie or Markiplier do it in a video yeah sure we don't do that but it's something right so uh, I'm kind of lazy and we're going through the blog that <coughs> it was announced yesterday or two days ago because I don't know I'm not American therefore when I got the, the message it was on the 17th and if it was after midnight my time for example uh, mid midnight for me is five hours before you so 11 10 9 8 7 it was 7 p.m. for you guys so don't play me oh no it was on the 16th five hours ahead from America so don't blame me so let's go through the rules the new rules that YouTube decided to put okay <clears throat> so six digit six digits how much is that uh, Uh, six thousand more now sixty thousand I mean I know Markiplier and PewDiePie and a lot of uh, youtubers not a lot of them but we can count the figure figures on YouTube that actually can make that kind of money and we don't we don't and honestly I would be very happy if um, I could at least make let me just rise a bit of the, the audio otherwise you might not be able to listen and you probably didn't listen to that part so let's get over it again just in case you didn't heard creator blog Additional changes to the YouTube Partner Program YPP, to better protect creators. Tuesday, January 16, 2018 2017 marked a tough year for many of you, with several issues affecting our community and the revenue earned from advertising through the YouTube Partner Program YPP. Despite those issues more creators than ever are earning a living on YouTube with the number of channels making over six figures up over 40% year over year. In 2018, a major focus for everyone at YouTube is protecting our creator ecosystem and ensuring your revenue is more stable. Okay, I hope you heard that. I mean, many YouTubers, I know Markiplier does because he has a diamond plate, a Rosanna Pensino maybe. Um, Rosan and Pensino got a new house, so probably yes, she she makes six figures. Uh, PewDiePie, uh, Jack Skelegop, Skelestop. I'm sorry, I can't pronounce your name correctly, but maybe, maybe. Uh, I mean, not everyone is able to make six figures. I think all of us together we, we will be able but you never know okay moving on 
As Susan mentioned in December, we're making changes to address the issues that affected our community in 2017 so we can prevent bad actors from harming the inspiring and original creators around the world who make their living on YouTube. A big okay. Bad actors. Uh, YouTube is not based entirely only in people filming like vlogs or stuff like that. Yeah, I'm making one now because I have a few things to say and I'm not scared of showing my face. A big part of that effort will be strengthening our requirements for monetization so spammers, impersonators, and other bad actors can't hurt our ecosystem or take advantage of you, while continuing to reward those who make our platform great. YouTube. I'm not an actress, I'm an artist. Get the things together because bad actors is assuming that everyone on YouTube is like, hey look at me! No, I'm gonna I'm gonna not be a bad actor. Oh I'm in my sakura kinamoto thing doesn't in the worst one. There you go, a Portuguese Sakura. I can get the stuff and cosplay like that and be Sakura from Portugal because that's bad actor because I'm not an actress I'm an artist and YouTube is assuming that everyone is a bad actor back in April of 2017 we set a YPP eligibility requirement of 10,000 lifetime views. While that threshold provided more information to determine whether a channel followed our community guidelines I and policies, it's been clear over the last few months that we need a higher standard. You don't you need more money. That's what Starting you need. today we're changing the eligibility requirement for monetization to 4,000 hours of watch time within the past 12 months and 1,000 subscribers. We've arrived at these new thresholds after thorough analysis and conversations with creators like you. They will allow us to significantly improve our ability to identify creators who contribute positively to the community and help drive more ad revenue to them, and away from bad actors. These higher standards will also help us prevent potentially inappropriate videos from monetizing which can hurt revenue for everyone. Ah, ah, that's wrong! YouTube, that can hurt you! Correct that! Okay? Correct that! On February 20th, 2018, we'll also implement this threshold across existing channels on the platform, to allow for a 30-day grace period. On that date, channels with fewer than 1,000 subs or 4,000 watch hours will no longer be able to earn money on YouTube. When they reach 1,000 subs and 4,000 watch hours, they will be automatically reevaluated under strict criteria to ensure they comply with our policies. New channels will need to apply, and their application will be evaluated when they hit these milestones. But honestly, it's not that all bad. It might take longer for us to reach 1K, and watch time, you just need to, you know share but people are not obligated to do watch time and probably after five seconds they unfortunately leave your channel so you have to try a little harder though these changes will affect a significant number of channels 99 percent of those affected were making less than 100 dollars per year in the last year with 90% earning less than $2.50 in the last month. Thank you for mentioning me. I'm sorry, YouTube. Any of the channels who no longer meet this threshold will be paid what they've already earned based on our AdSense policies. After thoughtful consideration, we believe these are necessary compromises to protect our community. Thank you for giving me my $1. Of course, size alone is not enough to determine whether a channel is suitable for monetization, so we'll continue to use signals like community strikes, spam, and other abuse flags to ensure we're protecting our creator community from bad actors. 
As we I'm an continue artist. to protect our platform from abuse, we want to remind all of you to follow YouTube's community guidelines. Monetization Basics Terms of Service and Google AdSense Program Policies as violating any of these may lead to removal from the YouTube Partner Program. That means... I'm gonna explain something after this. Because it's something that concerned me a lot. While this change will tackle the potential abuse of a large but disparate group of smaller channels, we also know that the bad action of a single, large channel can also have an impact on the community and how advertisers view YouTube. We'll be working to schedule conversations with our creators in the months ahead so we can hear your thoughts and ideas and what more we can do to tackle that challenge. <clears throat> Protecting the community from bad actors. And probably those bad actors are the ones that are making six digits. One of YouTube's core values is to provide anyone the opportunity to earn money from a thriving channel, and while our policies will evolve over time, our commitment to that value remains. Those of you who want more details around this change, or haven't yet reached this new 4000 hour slash 1,000 subscriber threshold can continue to benefit from our Creator Academy, our Help Center, and all the resources on the Creator site to grow your channels. Even though 2017 was a challenging year, thanks to creators like you, it was full of the moments that make YouTube such a special place. That's why Rewind Creators this large year and was... small, established and emerging, transformed their talent and originality into videos that captivated over a billion people around the world. They made us laugh, taught us about our world, warmed our hearts, we're confident the steps we're taking today will help protect and grow our inspiring community well into the future. Okay, <clears throat> so a few things. Why are they assuming everyone is making a fake ID uh, of someone and assuming everyone is doing or being a bad actor? I'm personally an artist so I'm not in that field of a bad actress uh, I'm not good with um, acting I mean I did however did a few comic deaths and people actually mostly most of them enjoyed I did it for fun it was not oh I'm the greatest oh, no I should say uh -huh, I'm the greatest! How can the Great Papyrus be out? I am the Great Papyrus after all! I did it just for fun. I didn't do it because I'm gonna win a lot of money. No, I didn't. I did just because I personally always wanted to be a voice actor. Actress, in this case. I, I always wanted... I think I have the talent for it. I didn't went anywhere to test out my abilities, but let's imagine there are a few people here on YouTube that are actually voice actors and they are the character they are representing. They are, and they are paid in real life for making that character from animes. For example, um, I don't know your name, I'm sorry, I, I slipped my mind but the voice of the Lord Freezer, he is actually the actor from the series and gives him that, oh, that is interesting. I, I can't make it, I'm sorry. Uh, it's your field, it's not me. And <clears throat> they are assuming he's fake when he billions of times says that he is and he is shown in the credits or whatever that it shows his name and YouTube is saying, oh, you're not the one, but my name is over there. No, you're not, you're fake. Okay. Moving on. Uh, 
Personally, I have my uh, sorry. I have my YouTube account since December 2006. So that is 12 years. 13 years this year. Huh? And the first time YouTube um, messaged me saying, hey, welcome to our partnership program. Uh, it's, it was because I actually made a pop and cooking video and it hit 1,000 views and from that day which was around six seven years ago uh, I've been not earning very much that year I didn't want anything I just start winning since I joined the freedom uh, community which helps me even if it's not a lot of money it's Still some money which I still appreciate and YouTube takes it away from me and probably the majority of you that are watching the video or not <clears throat> okay so let's go back to why did you make your YouTube channel let's start from the beginning of your uh, view of YouTube I started YouTube when on uh, 2006 December and it was a long time ago and I'll be honest I wanted to be a Mark Crowley I wanted to teach you help you um, with drawing that was my goal I never thought that YouTube could actually pay me for anything I just want to do it I mean it's it's okay for me uh, I just wanted to um, expand the drawing skills I have but I'll be honest I wasn't that great when I see drawings from 2006 and see drawings from now I mean now I think it will be best because I'm almost 30 believe it or not <laughs> and I have matured I have um, grown as an artist and I think now I can help you I did help a lot of people outside YouTube and invited them to the, um, the event art community and they are receiving lots and lots of commissions but for some reason I help them but I don't have anything in return it's fine it's fine now um, the reason why I'm upset with this it's something I really don't like to mention but apparently I have to now um, okay this is kind of hard for me to say guys because I don't want you to feel sorry for me by all means and um, when I start receiving money from YouTube and even though it wasn't a lot I don't get a lot from commissions either but the reason is because I have multiple cirrhosis yeah I have it for five years but I didn't want you guys to oh I'm so sorry I follow you I'll commission you or whatever I don't want you to feel sorry for me even if now I said it you say eh, whatever I don't care I mean Probably because you are healthy enough, healthy enough to get a job, a normal job. Or maybe you are 13 years old or underage. That's, I said 13 not to offend anyone, but 13 is the legal age to start a YouTube channel. Okay? Uh, and you could think, oh, I can win money from it. Hey, mom, guess what? I have a hundred bucks from YouTube you're underage so your parents are gonna take your money just saying so yeah it wasn't much but I mean I just have it because I can't stand up for 10 minutes I can't walk I, if I walk I can stand at least 20 minutes 
but if I stand in one place for 10 minutes, my back starts to hurt, I can't uh, move my legs, and I need to find a place to sit down immediately. So, for me, if YouTube says, get a job, you don't look sick. I mean, I don't look sick, but the paper says, and if you want, I will get it and show it to you. This person has multiple cirrhosis and needs to have the medicine and all the equipment with them. It's a passport, but it's still ID. So if you wanna prove, I mean, if you wanna search for this medicine, oh, I need to take it later. Take it later. If you wanna look, I have to take twice a day to not having any kind of uh, strokes, strokes in a way. So yeah, that, that was the reason why I'm upset because hey, I can't get a normal job. I can't. I can't go out and... Okay, sorry about that, uh, but <clears throat> here's a question. Will you guys quit YouTube just because of this? Or you will keep on trying and try to make things right? I mean, I have a suggestion for you is that don't do sub for sub. The reason why I say don't do sub for sub is because it's not worth it. It's not, I'm sorry to say, if, if people are following me because they think I will follow back, I'm sorry. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. But for sub for sub, YouTube knows if you are active or not. You can't force uh, 1,000 people to be active. They will be active if they want. So, um, are you gonna give up? Because when I was looking on YouTube and saw everyone complaining about this subject, uh, I saw this video, an animation that still makes me feel so warm inside that honestly I forgot about this I really did because thinking about it deep deep inside inside why are you in YouTube are you just you want to show your cats just you showing your drawings just you showing your gameplays uh, yeah because I have a gaming channel too and why are you on YouTube are you on YouTube because of money or are you genuinely on YouTube because you want to share your passion with everyone else? Personally, it hurts me that I won't get the credits I deserve. It's not because I'm sick, but I think I'm worth it. But um or are you just in YouTube because you want to earn money? Because if you are in that, I'm sorry, you're not going far on YouTube. It's just me saying. Because for the ones that are genuinely on YouTube because they want to share their experience, their, their daily lives, whatever, genuinely, I believe that one subscriber one uh, if you just started that one subscriber you have either is your mom either is your grandmother either is your brother your sister your cousin even if you ask them they're generally supporting you they are generally supporting you they are there for you because no matter what your channel is unique on its own way and I believe that no matter what, 
like Metaton says, you're gorgeous, you're beautiful, and someone out there, that one subscriber, if it's not part of your family, cares about you. And they want you to continue no matter what. And they will be sad if you quit because you are here just for the money. And if you are, yeah, okay, I understand. Everyone needs money nowadays, sadly. But I'm not going to quit YouTube just because they say, hey, you're not going to have your $1 every month anymore. Okay. I'm still gonna be on YouTube because it's not this that's gonna keep me away. So that's my thoughts about this new um, policy. With that said guys, like always, give it a comment. What are your thoughts? Even if it's a long comment, I will read them. Uh, give it a like or a dislike, whatever. If you are here for the money, if you're not, whatever, I don't care. And comment, like, share. And if you want, please subscribe and hit that bell not so you will be notified about every video I make. So, with that said, like always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Until then, take care.